Well, well, looks like the TV is not working again, Nerone. Huh? What did you do to it? Huh? 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 Mm. Well, let me go check the cables again. Ah, these cats. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, no, Nerone. We have a problem with the TV. Yeah. What did you say? Yeah. Well, it's maybe because we are in a cave? Hmm. I don't know, you may be right, but the cable guy assured me that the the antenna we have is super powerful. We should be able to get all the channels we want here. Well, okay, well, looks like I will tell you a story, Nerone, since the TV is not working. Let me tell you the story of when I fought the dragon in the end. Yeah, yeah, would you like to hear that? Yes, I hope so. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, once upon a time... No, too classic, too classic. Um, long time ago in a gal... Um, no, too much copyright. Uh, let's say some weeks ago, yeah, I found a stronghold. And in the stronghold I found a room with the end portal, my dear Nerone. So I decided to step into this portal, scared as I was, and then I suddenly find a lot of monsters over there. I started to dig my way up, up, up to find the dragon and fight this mighty foe. But uh, as soon as I went into the plateau with the nether, with the, with the ender, enderman, I had to fight some of these fearsome monsters called Enderman. Yes, they scare you, and if you look at them, they start to roam at you and they start to hit you super, super hard. So I had to fight some of these Endermen first. Then I could use my bow to destroy those big, big obsidian pillars that have on top of them this crystals, funny crystals that they heal the dragon. Yes, yes, exactly, Nerone. So I started fighting uh, Enderman, I destroyed more pillars, yes, yes. It was a terrible, terrible fight. And when I destroyed almost all the pillars, I could start fighting the dragon with my bow and arrows. That was a Terrible fight. Arrows to him, he start to charge me in order to kill me and send me in the void because that's what the end is. It's a platform on the void. Yep. And after some time killing Enderman, fighting with the dragon with bow and arrow, I finally was able to deal the final blow. The Ender Dragon was charging to me in a furious charge, uh, attempting to send me in the, in, the, in the void. But with my mighty sword, I was able to blow him with the last powerful blow. And look at those fireworks in the sky with all the nether, the Ender Dragon uh, falling into pieces and all this experience for me, Nerone. Who could you imagine that? Yeah, it was super, super cool. Uh, well, the Ender Dragon, the proof that the Ender Dragon died is that thing over there. But before being able to get this dragon head, I had to fight one last fearsome enderman and dig underneath the egg, place a torch underneath uh, this block, destroy the block with my pickaxe and the ender egg falling into the torch will destroy it itself and you are able to pick it. Yeah, yeah, that, that was a great adventure, Nerone, but we finally got the treasure, the treasure of the dragon egg. Nice, that was cool, Nerone. I hope you enjoyed this story, and I hope you didn't break the TV, because it cost a lot of money, my dear friend, but I'll have to call the 
cable guy again and see what happened. So Neroni, I hope you enjoyed the story. Now I have to do some work. I hope if you don't mind if I leave you here in this new room so you can rest, enjoy the fireplace, enjoy the broken TV and all this stuff. So I have some work to do Neroni. Excuse me. Bye bye Neroni. Hello everybody, the Drafter here and welcome back to some more Minecraft with a silly quest for the treasure. And I think you already know what happened in the, in during this week. I was very busy, very busy building that room over there where my cat Nerone is at the moment. And I also went to fight the dragon. Yeah, I know the dragonfly is a bit boring sometimes, so I decided to make this little funny story for you and for Nerone, of course, because our TV is broken, damn it! And I built this house in my underground base, with this uh, 3 by 3 uh, piston door, I'm sure you know what it is. And just, I want to show you quickly, quickly, quickly what this room is. Uh, I think it's nice, I think it's nice. A fireplace, my TV, my precious ender egg. Uh, wither, wither skeleton, wither the wither boss, my favorite painting with the <laughs> creeper face uh, on the window. And we have here some kind of a, I don't know, let's call it a creek bath thing. Some kind of arboreum with plants, flowers, some reed. And cool, cool stuff. Uh, yeah, let me know what do you think about this, this room, if you. <laughs> I think I should improve it or change something. I think it's cool. But uh, yeah, I just need to go under my base in the lowest floor. So give me a second. I need to go down here because first of all, I want to show you my beacon. Yeah, fully set up with uh, speed. Probably I can put speed on it. Uh, we'll put speed too for the moment. Yeah, I, I, I get all the iron and gold I have in my base uh, in order to activate the beacon. Uh, I need some caving, yeah. I only have this iron and uh, some gold upstairs in the storage room. And that's all. Yeah, I want to show you the beacon. Group. I want to remind you about my trees. The Child's Play Charity Trees Initiative Fundraising. Uh, you can donate at www.drafterita.com for Charles Play Charity. They help children in hospital with books, toys and games. It's a really great cause to, to donate some pennies. And you will get a three here in this room. I hope this room will grow bigger and bigger which, with more donations and nice stuff. And as you can see, I also uh, started using the faithful pack, resource pack gives you a smooth look to your uh, regular Minecraft without changing too much of it. But I kept my pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns skin with the Italian flag, nice. And yeah, I think this will be pretty much what I want to show you in this episode. Next, I, I'll go to the end. Let's go together over there, because now that I fought the dragon and the end is clear for me, uh, this is nether fortress now. I can build an ender farm, an enderman farm. Cool stuff. Stronghold. Yeah, that's the way. And please game load. I don't like this. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I can start building an enderman farm. I'm not very comfortable in doing it on camera because, whoa, it's a bit complicated. I never did. So I just want to show you that the, ne the end is uh, complete, completely in my power. Yeah, I fought the dragon and I can start building. I bought some cobblestone. I will start with that. That's my spawn point. Very, very scary. On top of the void. And yeah, pretty much that's, that's all. That's it. That's the battleground. The end battleground with all the scary endermen. And obsidian, I have a plan for this obsidian, right? Right, yeah. That's the portal back to the surface, to the overworld. And yeah, I will start placing block from here in that direction so I can build my Enderman farm 
far far away from the spawn of this enderman and i guess this would be all a short episode but funny i think let me know in the comment and leave me a like if you enjoyed the story of how i fought the dragon and just uh, remind uh, to go to drafterita.com to donate to chance play charity and salute from all the endermen and i hope to see you next time possibly with the enderman farm build ciao ciao guys have a good day